Councilwoman Poplar to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please all rise. Thank you, Jackie. You're welcome, President. I've asked uh, for a special order this evening. Uh, there are so many times that things happen in our community and they're positive things and we get busy and we get going different directions and we take them for granted. And uh, I wanted to recognize a number of people this evening that have um, really stepped up to the plate uh, in our community at a time when it would have been very easy um, for this facility uh, to take a back seat and uh, no longer be a part of our community. So I'm going to call the individual's names, ask them to come up to the microphone, and then um, I've got a certificate of re re resignation that I'd like to, recognition that I'd like to um, give you. Yeah, I'm, we got too many people resigning, right? <laughs> yeah, right. First to be called this evening is Tony Alexander. Tony, if you're here, if you would come up. <clears throat> Honorable Duncan Beagle, your honor. Norm Bryant, Norm. Gerald Bernash. Joe Ufinger. Joe's here. Okay. Jared Field. Jared? No. Jamie Gaskin. Pat Gerace. Gail Ganas Ganaskas, Gail, are you here? Shonda Williams, Shonda? Mr. Kelly, Glenn Kelly, I know Glenn's here. <laughs> Teresa Landis, Teresa? George Liljabald, get it out tonight. Angelo Panoff, Angelo. Carol Piasco, okay. Tom Saxton, Tom. Jack Stock, Jack. Cliff Turner, Cliff. Anthony Vance, okay. Dr. James Weber, Dr. Weber here, okay. Dean Yotis, Dean's not here. Gary, why don't you come up too? Huh? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. John McGarry, John. On behalf of the citizens of this community, uh, when the city took the position to close Atwood Stadium, there was a lot of discussions about how we could preserve that and continue to um, operate it. And with all of your help, each and every one of you, um, we were able to create the uh, Atwood Stadium Authority, and you stepped up and you made sure that that facility remained open and a viable venue for activities in the city of Flint that otherwise um, would have closed. And that facility has had a rich history in this community and each and every one of you have put your time and effort 
to preserve that facility for this community. And now it's going on to another phase. Um, and I hope that as we go into that new phase and that process, um, that um, Kettering University reaches out and involves the uh, individuals that participated as a part of the Atwood Stadium, Stadium Authority to make sure that it maintains its rich history and its service that it's been able to provide in this community. So I've got the certificates here for each and every one of you. Too, but I would just like to say uh, we're really pleased with the transition to uh, Kettering University. Uh, the city has been very cooperative in the transition and we're really pleased with the plans that Kettering has. They've committed to keep the historical uses of Atwood and uh, with, uh, they've also, as um, Scott was hoping for, have uh, agreed to have the, they want the board members to stay on in a fashion such as the Friends of Atwood Stadium to help in the a fundraising capacity. So on that note, I'll turn it over to the judge. No, Thank I you. think John pretty much said it all. Uh, it's been a joy to work with these folks because it's been a labor of love. Uh, they came there because they, they wanted to preserve a, a great history in, uh, in Flint. One of our board members is Jack Stock to my left. Uh, we got to know Jack over the last several months, and I think I speak for the entire group. If we thought for one minute that Kettering was not going to open the facility up to the community and allow us to continue doing things as we have in the past, I don't think we would have signed off on this. But we've established a good working relationship with Kettering. I think it's pretty obvious they want to be more active in the community, and we're looking forward to uh, their involvement. And I think the authority will remain as John indicated. So we really want to thank the city council for recognizing that. Yeah, you're welcome. <clears throat> any council members have any comments? Jackie. Jackie? Sorry. This is a, a overwhelming win-win for the city of Flint. And I just want to congratulate and thank the authority for taking the task on that they did. And they took it on as a, a small baby and they grew it. And now I look at it as it being in the teenage years and I'm sure that Kettering would take it on to the seasoned senior years and I think they will do a fabulous job. And not only, I believe Kettering will involve this whole community because Atwood Stadium is a community piece of property. It's in our hearts and each and every one that has ever lived in Flint. We feel that we own 
a piece of Atwood Stadium. And we left a piece of Atwood Stadium at every football game. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a wonderful day for our city. And once again, for the authority, thank you so very much for all the hard work that you have done. This is a marvelous day. And we thank you so much. Bibi? I just want to echo um, what my colleague said. You guys have done a wonderful job. This is an all-star team that you guys assembled. Um, I'm looking forward to the, um, um, Kettering taking over and you know, just taking Edward to a greater height. You guys have done a wonderful job, and it's really um, a great partnership by them keeping you guys on to work in the um, fundraising capacity. So job well done, and I look forward to working with Kettering even more. So thank you. John Lou? Yeah, I just want to congratulate all you guys for the, for the very hard work that you've performed over the past years. Uh, Atwood had previously been in my ward. Uh, now it's in the fifth ward, but I still have Kettering, uh, only by a street or so. But I do want to congratulate you guys. I do know many of you guys personally. Uh, I think it's a fantastic team, and I look forward to working with you all. And Cliff is always taking pictures. He's <laughs> so we know it's commemorated. Thank you, guys. Again, thank you so very, very much uh, for what you've done for our community. I, I look back and, you know, see so many things that the city started to take a hold of and then kind of just let it go by. And when they closed Atwood Stadium, there were some things that we did that weren't very successful. And you guys stepped up and really took it over and have done just a marvelous job. So again, thank you all so very, very much. Okay, are there any other petitions or unofficial communications, Madam Clerk? No, Mr. President. Are there any other communications from city officials, Madam Clerk? Not at this time. Okay. Um, we do have some public hearings this evening. Um, the first public hearing, Madam Clerk? The first, the first public hearing is a public hearing to consider the establishment of an obsolete rehabilitation district, commonly known as an OPRA, at 140 East 2nd Street, okay. also known as the Capitol Theater. Okay. Is there anyone here that would like to speak on this public hearing? I think there's a presentation from the, there's a presentation from the, on the part of from Glenda, them? from them, okay. before the speech, so that people will know what they're Glenda? talking about. Hi, my name is Glenda Dunlap, and I'm a program manager in the Department of Community and Economic Development. This public hearing is for the establishment of an Oprah district, obsolete property rehab district. Once established, it will afford the owner of property located within this district, the property has to be obsolete, to apply for an exemption of taxes on the rehab building for up to 12 years. We can't hear. Glenda, could you, could you, I, I, that mic might have gotten turned off just so that everybody can hear what you. On. It's on. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I, I don't think people in the audience could hear and I could just barely hear you. Okay. This public hearing.